I'm a third born in a family of six. There's a seven year gap between me and my younger siblings. I was young, I fought alone and broken on inside. I had to find a way to let out the feelings and emotions that were brewing inside me. I had to find a way to let it out. So I started writing at age of 10. I was in grade five. How is it that they never been able to see me between the lines of my poetry? I could just get comments like, oh, this is so sensitive. Wow, this is so emotional. I remember vividly someone telling me, there's a certain age for people being able to express their emotions and feelings. If you ask me to date, I still don't know what that means. Fast forward five years later, standing in front of more than 1,000 students, I was a new head girl. As I usually say, with greater power comes greater responsibilities. I thought things would be easy. With studies getting serious, pubert kicking in, experiencing the first love melodrama, things took turn for the worse. That is when I decided to write another piece. I wanted the results, but not the struggle. I wanted the reward, but not the process. I was in love, not with the fight, only the victory, but cruelly life doesn't work that way. I wanted the music, but not the vibration. I wanted the perfect relationship, but not the emotional psychodramas. I wanted the connection, but not the awkward silence. And miserable life doesn't work that way. I wanted to graduate, but not the quizzes and tests. I wanted the crown, but not the pain and sacrifice. I wanted you, but not your imperfection. And then life doesn't work that way. That was 15 years old me. You might be wondering where I am today, or rather where that voice has taken me. I'm in my fourth year at uni studying engineering. Better yet, I am the first female chairperson at my college, College of Engineering and Technology at the University of Dar es Salaam. When I joined uni, I saw a gap in female representation, which at the moment has more male students than female students. Several years later, I became the first female chairperson, and I believe I won't be the last. I still remember that 10 years old girl who decided to pen her thoughts and feelings and share them to the world. I want to thank her for her resilience. And to the end, I've written a piece for her and everyone who is still struggling to find their voice. I am fearless in the fullest of judgment. I breathe courage and strength from my deepest. I hold no words back with a stead floor. I empty my chest. I clap for myself before the standing ovation from the crowd. I want to make a difference before I get old. Let my story be a reminder to every parent on board. In the cold of the night, I am hoping for the warmth of the sunrise. I was just a girl holding a pen, but now, I am a lady on the spotlight with a microphone. Thank you.